Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to today's career mode video and I'm super excited to bring you guys episode 3 because I know how much you guys are enjoying this series. I mean my last two videos are on 4,000 likes and it's just getting ridiculous. You guys are just insane and I really, I've got a lot of man love for you all. But we have my first preseason game and it was against RCD Mallorca and he just gets so close there, gets really unlucky. Julius Caesar makes an important second save there. But uh, I couldn't believe he hit the post. And Wright Phillips having the pace to power through their defense. But unfortunately, nothing came of it. And that was a little bit disappointing. And that pretty much sums up a lot of Wright Phillips. But a great through ball there through to Tarap. And Tarap's going to be a very key player. Although he does feel a little bit sluggish in career mode. I'm not too sure why exactly that is. Um, but he does feel a little bit slow. But some really poor defending on my part here. Uh, an unnecessary slide. But what a strike to beat Julio Cesar at the near post. And that was definitely... A, a wonderful strike and I was a little bit disappointed that Julio Cesar did get beat at the near post but then again I am really happy that that's one of the key players that QPR have is a really solid goalkeeper and I didn't have to go and uh, pick one up during the transfer market but they brought me down at the edge of the box and Gibral Cisse there steps right up and straight into the keeper's hands what was I thinking um, but that was really disappointing there that would have been the first goal under my management but it wasn't and uh, it'll have to wait for another time and he misses an absolute sitter there and it really should have been 2-0 but it ended 1-0 so my first preseason game with me um, manager just wasn't uh, it didn't go too well but uh, you know Chelsea, if they get Bayern, that's going to be... Well, Chelsea, if they get Bayern, sorry, that makes absolutely no sense. If Chelsea get Gomez, that is going to be incredible. They're Manchester United in talks with Mascherano. Now, I've done a few career modes. Like I've just started them up, see how they go. And Man United always go for Mascherano in the beginning. For I think it's around 16 million every time. Nevertheless, moving on to my second game of preseason was against... Um, this French league side and I did decide to sim it now that kind of I kind of did it just to prompt the question more than anything Oh, and there it is Chelsea do sign Mario Gomez and he is gonna be a huge force to be reckoned with But I've got a question for you all if I sim these preseason games or the games that just really I, I kind of want to say don't matter because preseason to me isn't a big deal and uh, I actually come up against Nice here who scores really early on in the game. But would you guys be cool if I sim those sort of games or would you prefer watching me uh, play them? And anyways, I come up against Nice here and I was pretty, I was, you know, telling myself this should be a pretty easy game. I should uh, hopefully pick up a win, if not at least a draw. But they go 2-0 up in 17 minutes and things were not looking good at all. Um, you know, just nothing was going my way. I wasn't doing anything well. Matox is through and how can you miss? A one-on-one -on -one chance like that. It's just, if I'm missing chances like that, I simply don't deserve to win whatsoever. A bit of left trigger, right trigger, and that is just a wonderful strike from their striker. And it puts them 3-0 ahead, and it just wasn't looking good at all. Great 1-2. And it's, it just wasn't my day at all. I lose 3-0 to Nice, and I was really disappointed with that result. Preseason hasn't gone to plan at all. Um, you know, Johnson coming on. Was there more to come from Nice? You guys will just have to wait and see right now. But uh, I brought Andy Johnson on for Matics, especially after that horrible, horrible miss. I felt as though I had to punish him in some sort of sense because uh, that you just can't miss shots like that. But this guy jinks around my defense and literally walks through them. The defense was an absolute shambles and it goes 4-0. And uh, turning more into a humiliation than anything, but uh, hopefully it'll fire the boys up for the next game, which was, uh, which is important because I was most certainly disappointed with the way my team played and uh, how I played in general because I just didn't manage to break their through their defense too many times. And here, Cisse is broken through again, and those have just got to go in. Chances like that, they've got to go in. And uh, it, they simply weren't. So I lose 4-0 there to a game I really should have at least tied, if not won. But that really just inspired me to go and make some pretty hefty changes to the squad. Something needed to be done. It, what was what I was using clearly wasn't working. But there, Juventus are keen on signing Neuer. Neuer being a fantastic keeper in this game. Um, I say my favorite keeper in this game is Hart at the moment. But then again, I haven't really given Neuer too much of a go. But if Juventus sign Neuer, that would be a huge, huge signing. Um, training injury, unfortunately I do pick up an injury and that is Junior Hoylet there who is one of my youngsters that I'm really hoping to develop and it was uh, absolutely gutting to see that he was injured. Bobby Zamora, an offer comes in for him for 2.9 million and I never settle for what they offer in at me. There is no point settling, you might as well see if you can get a little bit more. So I decided to be a little bit cheeky, offer 3.5 million to see if they'd bite on it. 
but going from a 4-4-2 diamond wide, which uh, means you have a right mid and a left mid, I decided to go for more of a compact cent uh, midfield formation, just because I felt as though things weren't working out, you know, uh, Wright Phillips, despite him having a few breakthroughs, he just wasn't, he couldn't finish his dinner, um, Junior Hoylet being injured, I had to move to a more narrow uh, formation, and that's why I decided, so now I've got a right centre mid, a left centre mid, a centre defensive mid, and a centre attacking mid, uh, Bobby Zamora there, uh, another offer came in for 3.2 million, again, Producing that counter offer because I always can get more than what they offer me usually don't uh, don't take that for Exactly that you know, but there's no harm in at least going one up Assuming you don't go for a ridiculous price because then they will simply just pull out But uh, again, I was I was just chancing things see what would happen But I if you guys want to pause back there Yaya Toure went to Atletico Madrid, which is a huge move Yaya Toure seemed an absolute animal and uh, there Suarez is looking at possibly to join FC Bayern so things are moving around Pepe might be off to Manchester City, we'll all have to wait and see. And uh, then I had to make a comment on Swansea City, but you guys will get to see that game next episode, episode 4, which I hope you guys all really want to see. That'll be out later in the day, assuming this video does fantastic, and I know you guys will support it, because you guys are just the bomb. <laughs> Seriously, it's awesome. So thanks a lot guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you missed last episode, you can simply click on the left hand side video there. And if you want to check out our Ultimate Team Squad Builder, that's on your right there. It's a really nice squad. But that's it for me guys, I hope you did enjoy this video, and I'll catch you all later. Bye bye.